Hello, Odd Job Doer here, and today's going to be a breaker day and uh, sub panel box. So, luckily, now we've gotten our pipe ran. We have this here conduit slash raceway goes down into this pit of dirt now underneath the concrete, and uh, out here where it goes off and finds its way to a garage. And what we'll do next with here, or we have done already, is here's the new wiring. Actually, if you can see a copper ground, um, three of these black ones, which I think is two, number two wire. Yeah, number two wire. And so I got one that goes in the back there, goes to the neutral bus. One that goes down to the ground is four that goes to your uh, ground bus. And then up here in the breaker, we've got a 100 amper and a uh, dual pole. So it gives you 240 volts into the garage. And Screw them in, and the thing about breakers here, here's one in my hand, is on the side of these, perhaps, they say, let's see, it's gonna be kind of hard to see it, but they say here that there's a, a torque rating. Gives you wire sizes and an amount of inches, pounds, uh, to torque something down. And I have found that on this number two wiring, they wanted it, I think it was like 40, 40 pounds, 30 pounds per inch. Something pretty pretty big up there, and so I try to torque it down. You only have a, a and these here are a slotted screwdriver spot for them. And well, I tightened them as much as I could. Didn't ever hit that click of the 45 pounds, but I didn't want to strip out my screws or break anything else. And so this here is done. I got my 200 amps up here, and it's on the off position. You should always turn it off when you get into this kind of works, the inner workings of your breaker box. This here actually has a you know, a panel thing that goes in front of it for safety. And uh, flip off the main breaker, take this thing off, and then you can play with these other breakers. And what I did is I swapped out the uh, 100, was 20 used to be, and I added the new wiring. And next we'll go and see where this goes into the garage. All right, so here we are in the garage, and the wires come through the wall here. Um, on the other side of this doorway is a because they call it a pull box. I'll show you here. So that right there goes in. You can take out these screws, get your wire so you can bend them, shove them through the wall better. This here goes down the ground. Comes around for the next project after we get the power on. There's that box there, which is going to go to a AC unit. Actually, a mini split cooler. That's the main reason I'm doing this whole job. But uh, it's got this box here. Goes in the garage. Bunch of stuff. Garage. So in here, when we're putting it through, did the best measuring, and it almost went through that 2x4. So I off-centered it from the 2x4 a little bit, and I was in luck because we got here the new box. Get this here. There, new sub-panel box. Nice, shiny, yes, you like that stuff? Up here in the top, there's a knockout. The one in the back, not this side one, the back one. I'll measure the um, the third part, knock out what I need, which it might be not all of them, but the next one in. And this is what you call a, I believe, a back-fed breaker box. So we have a breaker here. Power goes in there. You got your, uh, let's see, this is probably your neutral side thing. This is your grounding side. Uh, for a breaker box like this, you don't ground the box to the neutral. And uh, I more than likely will run a ground wire from this box though down to the grounding stud down there. And let's see what else we got here. So we got the breaker already in, back fit it there. This puppy needs about, let's see here, it says, this one here, it says, um, let's see. For I think three to one slash zero AWG wire, it's actually a 45 pounds per inch torque. Now, I have a feeling I'm not going to get that out of this thing. Because once again, it's slotted and the slots don't seem to handle it. I'll do the best I can to get as tight as I can. And uh, same thing, got little nuts here for your neutral to go into. And your other neutrals for anyone to uh, run more breakers. Negatives over here. And. For this part here, what I'll do is, after I knock out those holes, I will feed it down the wiring here. You can see here that 
that's what I got down there. So I got about, oh, maybe eight foot, no, maybe seven foot extra wire. No, not really, because I'll probably cut it here to, to do my uh, connections. And there's these wires here. So while I was running the climb to it raceways to get the big guy in here, I'm going to, I've ran these other ones here, which this is a, uh, let's see, I believe this is three, two wire with the ground. Nope, this is the four. So four wires total, three with the ground. So this is going to be my 240 to my cooler unit, uh, 12 gauge wire. And this one here is also 12 gauge wire, but it is uh, just three wires. So you have the hot, neutral, and ground. And that will go to the power outlet, that box outside I showed you, because there's some codes in there that you need to have an outlet within a certain distance of the AC unit. So you can, you know, power tools up and your compressor pump and whatnot. Now, I had to take out a board. You see right there, there's a funny little off-colored white lines. I took a piece of wood out. It was horrible anyways. Put it on for safekeeping. And what I'll do now is um, get that piece of metal knocked out of the box, get it on here, which should be enough room to still fit a 2x4 to, to the back of it. Maybe I can get a board on the side and kind of side mount parts of it. And to the back, I'll, I'll mount it to two 2x4s two across. And that will still leave maybe this side to run power out of, which I probably won't use. Uh, what I'm talking about here is, if you've never seen these boxes, on the sides, you guys little knock out here is to add to more circuits and branch offs on the top two. And so what we're probably doing is take up one whole side, and I'll probably just run out wires from the tops and bottom to do my plugs and lighting for this dark garage. So I'll try to add that box in and uh, continue from there. Hello, Odd Job Beer here. And as you can see, we've got a panel here, a 100 amp service trying to get here. We got this, uh, this thick black uh, tube is what's left over from cutting off the um, what four four one wiring that led here to the garage sub panel, and to cut it off, I don't have one of those special wire cutters for thick wires, so I just use a little bit of uh, this right here, right reciprocating saw, sawzall type of thing with a little fine metal cutting blade. Oh yeah, and that kind of sawed right through it just fine. Made some good ends connecting. And now I'm ready to basically hook the wires up to the panel. You can see, I guess we're in a vise. When you're cutting off the, the black outer piece, that thing down there, uh, don't go too deep because you don't want to cut any of these wire sheaths. And you have this, uh, for this particular wire, you have this kind of fiberglass uh, white material there going around it. And so when I kind of heard that crinkling a little bit, I knew to kind of back off. And with some patience and fancy cutting, I was able to get it off, hopefully without nicking in the casing uh, if you do nick it you know heat wrap shrink or uh electric tape around it to keep it from touching anything else now you can tell here that we got three wires two are hot one's a neutral and to find out uh, i got this little uh little tester thing here see there's two connectors at the bottom one's marked positive one's negative i'll put the negative on the grounding wire here and I'll just tap the positive to each one of these bare, bare ends here, copper. And the two that zap are the two that I will use to put in the breaker. And remember, find out which is the two that zap and turn your main breaker off again so you don't try to put these in the breaker and zap yourself type of thing. And if this all goes well, I will test out which ones work and I will install them. We got a ground size here, and I got a wire. Some are required, some aren't. I'm not too sure, but I got a grain rod, rod down there, so I don't want to let it go to waste. And you don't bond, or sub panels over here, you don't bond your uh, common to the panel, which uh, we'll just see how this works out. Otherwise, one of these thick black ones will go back up in there to that big thick screw. Oh. And uh, ground well wire will come over here to this grounding strip. And the two hot ones will go into the breaker here, and we will hook them up and see what happens.
And if this gets out there, you know it worked. If it doesn't get out there, well, at least I tried. <laughs> Hajjah Abdur, thanks for watching.